Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we got a whole ton of side quests done. And got a whole bunch of hidden items that we can now get with Surf, as well as a couple items that I'd previously missed. In this episode, back at Mauville, we're going to be heading out to the east to finally continue our adventure. And we're going to be switching bikes here with Rydal, 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 Okay. Now, the area that we're going to, there's advantages to each bike. But, personally, um, I prefer having the Acro bike for this area because there's items that you can only get uh, through the Acro bike, whereas the Mach bike just lets you access a shortcut that lets you skip a few battles. So, all in all, it's better to have the Acro bike. This guy right here is really helpful. He gives you, hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? No. Don't you like to fish? Well, yes, but the good rod isn't really the good one. Hmm, we're of identical minds. Take this good rod. With the good rod, you can catch several new Pokemon. Uh, the good rod allows you to catch a few new Pokemon while fishing, including Carvana on this route, though. We've already gone over Carvana, though, so not really much point for that. Here we have an iron. What, are you just, like, eating the rock? I mean, I know that certain rocks contain iron, though, but I don't know. Let's give that to... Uh, We'll say Kappa, I guess. I give the last one to Teddy, and I guess both of them are meant to be walls. So, right here, we have Gabby and Ty, just like last time. I think I'll go ahead and fight them. We're going to have a cool tent out in front, which a cool tent is really close to evolving. So, oh, your email. Hi, do you remember us from last time? I mean, from the last Pokemon Rex America. Can you show us how much stronger you become? Okay, Q interview. So... I have to say, I liked a lot of the comments on the video last time that I fought them. Apparently, this kind of behavior that I had with Gabby and Ty wasn't too unusual uh, for various Pokemon events like that. I hear, like, the World Championships that are held every year, which I always wanted to go to, though, but I never was able to. I might actually pretty soon, though, but, um... I've heard that, like, a lot of the people that are with the convention at areas like those are generally really nice and just really interactive like that, so that's kind of cool, I have to admit. Really... Odd, you know, I wouldn't really expect that from people that just get hired in the area, probably like in the local papers, and just, you know, do that. I really wouldn't expect that, though, but... Uh, you know what? Double Surf! I'm just being a jerk here. So we're gonna use Surf, we're gonna use Surf again, then we're gonna use Surf, and then we're gonna use Surf again! And you paralyzed both of my Pokémon, you jerk. Oh well, it doesn't even matter. Down goes Magnemite after it's already paralyzed both of them. You think you could have taken care of them a little faster? And Tentacle Girl to level 30! Woo! Uh. I really need a life. Really, really bad. Uh, rap. Screw that! Why would I ever want to learn rap? Yeah, I'm stopping that. I'm not gonna learn that crap. That rap is crap! That was really odd. Okay, let's just use Bullet Seed. Watch Bullet Seed beat it again, even though I'm just like, Oh my god, Bullet Seed is such a terrible move. Oop, uses it. Oh, the enemy fainted. It really is a terrible move, because it got the job done. That seems to be a thing in this LP. And what do you know? It happened again. Okay. Beat out Gabby and Ty. That's an intense battle. Did you get that on camera? I don't know. And a cool tent is evolving. Oh my god, tents can be so cruel! Uh, I keep getting people asking if I'm going to change its nickname. I haven't really decided yet. I don't know if it's really necessary. And I already told you I don't want to learn freaking rap! No! Stop trying to learn rap? Yes! Did not learn rap. Okay. Awfully! Remember that? That's a quote you used in the ba as, as the battle clincher last time. I never, ever forget stuff like that. Anyway, what do you think? You want to be interviewed again? Okay, fine. So, we're gonna go ahead and describe the feelings about the battle. Okay, I went ahead and answered that. We'll see what it is next time we go into a uh, TV. Hmm, yeah, that's a perfect clincher. I get the feelings it'll make a great TV show. There's a chance to hear us on TV, so be sure to look for us. Alright. Now, I could always just go to the Pokemon Center, because it's just right across the water, but I'm feeling lazy, so... 
Never mind, I will go to the Pokemon Center. I want to use my consumable items. Alright, back here. Gabby and Ty have mysteriously vanished, and I'm going to try to sneak past you. Very good. Let's go here. And he done it. Whoa, hey, what's up? Hi, Emil. It's me, Steven. We met in a cave near Dewford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? There are many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. And only 200 of them actually live in this region. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you should find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. A trainer of all Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, not any of my business. It'd be nice if it were to meet again somewhere. Now, if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, if I'm not mistaken, I think he actually gives you something. But I don't remember for sure. I'll flash something up on the screen right now if I'm wrong about that. But, yeah. Here we have some citrus berries. They restore 30 HP, so they're more effective than using a potion. Plus, you can equip them to a Pokemon for automatic usage, which is kind of nice. Nothing in there, okay. And I probably better use a repel. Uh, down to just one repel. Really? Zigzagoon, do you have any? No. Slavenator, you have lost your rights to be called Zigzagoon. You shall retain your rightful name as Slavenator. I believe that that trainer. So. Okay. This item, I believe, is yes, a hyper potion. Hyper potion. That restores 200 HP. So it is the best recovery item that you can have this early in the game besides bitter medicine. So, well, tied with bitter medicine, rather. And here, we are on route one, two, three, and listen to the music. It is the intro song. We haven't heard this for 24 episodes now. So, it's beautiful, and I was trying to make the two of you get together into a double battle, but unfortunately I did not do so. So, we're going to have two encounters. I've had some people be like, why don't you just talk to the trainer, you know, off to the side if you don't want to fight him in a double battle, and whoa, that thing is actually really cool. Um, thing is, I find it just a lot better to just fight them in a double battle because you're taking out what normally would be two encounters at one time. Plus, double battles do go faster because, I mean, you're selecting two attacks and being able to take up. Whoa, okay. Uh, that is Razor Wind that that Absol is using right there. Um, Absol, I believe, is a rare, is a wild Pokemon on this route. If not this route, another one, though. But obviously, we can't. Well, not obviously, though, but we can't. Uh, we can't go to where it is catchable yet because there's no grass on this route in this area. I am just really good at structuring sentences today. Maybe I should just say though a whole bunch and that'd be good. And, oh god. We're actually running into a lot of rare Pokemon now. Pinsir, I have to admit that I really like though. We can't catch it yet though, so again, I'll go over it when we can actually catch it though, but I like this one a lot. Let me go ahead and use Ice Beam. I think that... No, actually no, it's not part grass type. How am I thinking? Okay, never mind. That works. I'm happy. Oh, come on! Has that ever been useful any time that it ever actually happened? I mean, it always defrosts, and Slavenator has yet another item. <laughs> okay, if it's a repel, then I will be really, really happy, but I doubt it. Come on. Seismic Toss, I believe that'll do 27 damage. Yes, okay. And we, are, we have equal speed. Great. Come on, Peck. Oh, come on! Hey, I went first that time! Ha ha! Bad luck on your part! Okay. Well, you meanie, he says. Okay, let's see what that item on Slavenator is. I just checked it like a moment ago. It has a great ball. Okay. Keep running into Pokemon that we don't get otherwise. Uh, here! You can see that it's actually raining outside of battle on an Ultra Ball! Holy crap! It's raining outside of battle. This is a new feature that was added in uh, in Emerald, is that you can actually have weather outside of battle, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a ton of berries right here. Uh, here we have eight Pomeg berries in total. Those are cooking ingredients. Here we have eight Greppa berries, which are also cooking ingredients. And here we have eight Qualit berries in total, which are, again, cooking ingredients. Now, I believe there's a hidden item in here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Where is it? 
And it's... Okay, maybe it's back there then. I could have sworn it was elsewhere though, but I don't know, maybe. Let's go behind the house. And here we have, I believe, a revive. Yes, okay. That... So, a lot of really helpful items in this area. They are definitely generous with the items as of late. And speaking of generous with the items, here we have Berry Master. You may call me the Berry Master. I dream of filling the world with beautiful flowers, so I raise berries and hand them out to everyone. You're deserving of one. He will give you a random berry between a berry number 25 and 30, Omega Namal, uh, each day. He will give you a second one as well, so you can get two berries for free from him every day. This is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop Rustboro. He reminds you of another free berry you can get each day. Here we have Berry Master's wife. The way my husband grows berries. Oh, he's the best in the world. He makes me proud that he does. Incidentally, Charlie, have you heard a good saying lately? There's a lot of th th different things you can say to her. Now, we can't do all of these yet. However, I will be doing... Once a day, you can tell her a good saying, and I will be doing the ones of these that we can't do. So, I believe that... Great... Great badly, great ball, great barboach, great, great bath, great battle. Great battle is what you want to tell her. That's one thing you can do immediately. She will give you in return for that a spell on berry. That is a remarkably rare berry. It is extremely rare. Uh, berry number 31. You can get 31 through 35 from her. These berries are all extremely useful once we get into Pokemon contests, which have to do with the whole berry cooking thing. But of course, we can't do that yet. In search of trainers. Hi, today I'm visiting your room. See, I'm looking for some up and coming new talent in the field. Today we turn our lens on trainer email. There's something about this trainer that piqued our interest. We battled the meal before, but we can at least test that the trainer has most definitely improved from before. We knew we were into something special when we spotted this trainer. Best way to determine how strong a trainer is? Well, the fastest way is to battle, so we began our investigation. That's how we ended up in a battle with Emil. In dominated performance, we were flattened, rolled up, and tossed aside. Emil is ruthlessly strong. Here's our impressions of having the battle featured with this trainer. The combination of Tentacool and Lombre was divine. Sight of them, Tentacool and Lombre, selflessly supporting each other in the thick of battle. It was a marvelous sight to behold. Bullet Seed was the move the trainer used last in battle. The move Bullet Seed and Tentacools is Tentacool and Lombre, sign of friendship. After the battle, we asked Emil for a succinct summary. The trainer replied, Liquid Ooze. Emil's Pokemon Tentacle and Lombre, and Liquid Ooze. Mmm, that's deep. There's deep significance behind that quote. No surprise, a good trainer has good things to say. That's all for today. See you on our next broadcast. They really will put anything on the air, just like I said last time. So, skipping that trainer battle. Thinking if there's, I'm trying to think if there's an item around here. I guess not. I guess they're all up on that ledge. So unfortunately, no more items for us. But oh well, we sure cleaned out this route, didn't we? So. Back here, there is actually a wild Pokemon in this route that we can find that we have not gone over yet. That is Kecleon. Very unique Pokemon. It has the ability Color Change, which makes it so that every time that it's hit with a move, its move change, its type changes from normal to whatever type it was just hit with. The problem with this is many Pokemon carry moves that, well, are weaknesses of moves that are in their uh, weaknesses of types that they also have in their move set. So, this thing can be very exploited in that regard. It's also very slow. It's a cool looking Pokemon, don't get me wrong. I like it a, I like it a lot in terms of looks, and I have used one before though, and I, it was pretty valuable to my team. Because like any normal type, it can learn a lot of stuff though, but its ability is just such a hindrance. And I unfortunately got into yet another battle when I was trying to go back to heal, but hey. And Slavenator has yet another item as I was off to go heal, I realized. A potion, okay. Okay, so before we set out to the north, I want to make a few notes of something. First off, I want to go ahead and deposit a lot of my items into the PC. Because I just do not have very much free space. I really, really hated having limited inventory, and I'm so glad that they abolished it in the next game in the series. So I'm just going to go ahead and deposit everything that I feel is not really that important for me to be carrying around. Get that. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need that. I could probably sell that. Don't need that. And 
don't need this. Okay. So, looking a lot better. So now, I'm gonna go stock up on some repels, and I'll meet you guys back over where we were. Now, remember that egg that we obtained a few episodes ago? Yeah, I have it right here. I We needed to have some HMs for a little while, though, so that's why I kept Slavenator with us, though, but we don't need the HMs anymore. Tick, it's no-go. The tall grass snares my bike. There's no tires. There's no way you can cycle here. So, cycling is out of the question in this area. Now, I think there's some hidden items in this area, in this grass. These trainers uh, in this grass also are a bit unusual. They react to your every movement. I guess while we're going through this grass, there is one new wild Pokemon on this route that you can find in the grass, which is Tropius. Very unique Pokemon. It is a grass flying type. It has a lot of weaknesses, five in total, and a quad weakness to ice, so that's tough to get around. If you can get around that, and as well as its bad speed, it is pretty diverse. It's just kind of a shame that it just isn't the greatest uh, typing in the world, and it's limited in that regard, though, because if, aside from that, I would really like this Pokemon if it was more usable. But this route is also home to one of the most notorious Pokemon ever. The rarest Pokemon of all, not counting events. I am talking about Feebas. Feebas is only found on six tiles on this entire route through fishing. You need to check each and every space for being sure that you can get this thing. It is ridiculous. I've had times where I found one in 20 minutes, times where it's taken me as much as nine hours to find one. So, not easy. It evolves very uniquely. It evolves into Milotic through raising its beauty stat through blending berries, which again, we can't do yet. That seems to be the thing of this LP now, besides forgetting Slavenator's items, is that I cannot do that. But it is the rarest Pokemon ever, Milotic, you might not think it's worth it, but Milotic is actually very good defensively and in terms of doing special attacks. So it's actually a very good Pokemon if you want to do that. Let's see, I thought you fly, catch a whole lot of your Pokemon, and then hang on to them somehow. But turns out there's an ancient move called Fly. I wish I'd known about that a long time ago. We'll go into this house. Uh, what do we got here? A bunch of Wingles in here. Heard about a cave called the Cave of Origin. People rumored Spirits Pokemon arrived there. Something like that really happened. This house really has a great purpose, doesn't it? So, anyway, we have gotten up to Route 119. We had Tentacruel evolve into Tentacruel. We got a bunch of items. I think we're going to end this off here. Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're going to be continuing on to the north. And through all this crazy weather. See you guys then.